I've spent my life in ecstasies of agony and remorse, romantically realized by thick and shallow slights of pain, the thin-lipped mercury midnights of movements made only of moments, and distance distracted by rain. And it all proclaims my poverty. The decaying greed of something more. Of living to love leaving. More than life and love itself. And then there's the aching. That tender aching. Not for the taste and touch of tears and sweat but for the tiny tracks that they leave behind. It all becomes serene. Second chance circumstances you can cling to as you hope to hide your face. But at last, you're discovered carefully captured by the nets of life's affection. Everything seems to slip and stink like cinnamon. The world begins again, renewed by the silence of a shimmer, a shimmer so strong and streamlined, it seems to you the same. The same as he or she, them or it, saving you with the same slants of sainthood, the same desires to dry your eyes, the same sequence of hips and lips and hair and lies, the same order of memories, lined up and waiting. Dying to open up love's diary and steal their way inside.